Hello and welcome to West Coast Green Solutions. Hello everybody, West Coast Doug here. Today we're going to get started on the Harbor Freight windmill conversion that you see behind me. Uh, correction from the last video, I said that it retailed for $89.99. It's actually $59.99. I was just in the store yesterday. So anyways, we're going to get started on the conversion and uh, talk about a few of the things that we're going to have to do to it and get into winding some coils. But before we do that, you have to make a jig. I can't really help you with that, but I'll show you the jig that I come up with to wind my coils. And we'll go over the whole steps on how I'm winding my coils. So let's take a look at that. So this is the wire that we're using. It's a uh, coated copper. And uh, as it comes along here, it comes into our jig, which is just a few 2 by 4 stacked. With a uh, piece from my drum, Kit actually, believe it or not, that we use to wind our coils, but it works out really good. We'll show you how we do it. So what we're starting with are composite washers. They're about an eighth of an inch thick. We have three of them. And what we're going to do is gorilla glue those together in order to achieve these guys. And what we're using for these guys is just kind of a a spacer or starter if you will to start our coils so this piece right here comes off of my drum kit and what I've done is I've drilled a little hole in there to receive the copper wire so as we stick that through though we'll just stick that through there pull it a little bit taut and then give it a little wrap just to hold it in place now we're going to slide this piece onto this bolt that we have set up on this hinge. And then we're going to take our composite three-piece washer that we glued together and stick that on there. Now we've got the other end of our drum kit. I'm going to slide that on there. Now we've got a nut and we're simply just going to tighten these two to hold them together. Now this is going to create a thin coil with over a hundred turns. The only thing is I'm not counting my turns. The reason I'm not counting my turns is because I'm weighing each coil as I'm done. So this might take a minute, so cue music. Now all you're going to do is get the coil right to the top until it starts to unwind off of there, which is right about now. And then that's the end of our coil. Since I have it coming all the way to the top of this, each coil I bring all the way to the top of this until it starts to wind off either way. The next step is we just weigh each one. And at the end, we end up with all of our coils the exact same weight, which should mean the exact same length. Now we're going to take some trusty Gorilla Glue. It's the strongest glue that I know of. And we're just going to hold that taut and just put a drop or two right on the end of the coil where we stopped. 
So when you're satisfied that your coil is uh, dry from the glue, go ahead and uh, grab your line, snip it, and I just like to pull this over here and just give it a little wrap around the screw, keep it in place. I'm going to lift this up, unbolt it, as you can see, mine wasn't completely dry yet, but that's okay. Because I make these just a little bit long, because I'm going to peel some of it off. That's how I get them exactly the same weight. So we take this piece from our drum, slide it over there, and then we're going to take our coil, slide it off, and set it right here. So now we're going to take our Gorilla Glue and do what I call making a poker chip. And we're just going to come across it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And I call it poker chip because it looks like a poker chip as I'm doing it. So we let that dry. And then, uh, so now we have a few coils that are all the same weight. So they should all be the same length. And we're going to do eight coils, probably 12 magnets. And uh, 12 magnets on each side of the stator. And we're going to double up our magnets. So that'll be 48 total magnets. And we'll get to that on the next episode when we show you how we're going to use 10 inch saw blades to uh, attach our magnets. So until next time, this is West Coast Doug saying later from the West Coast.